Hey there, happy day 817 of What's She Up To Now? Sharon Horn Elstrom here at your service. I just am thinking, wow, this morning, wow. I participated in, while watching my four-year-old granddaughter, an eight-hour marathon of speakers to help us to rise up. It's, it's part of the Rise Up Challenge, to rise up and um, show up and become who we're meant to be during this challenge. Now I'm doing kind of this, a similar thing. I started on April 1st called the Get Up and Go Challenge to help people ensure and guarantee that they're better off. And I decided to do it for the month of April when I first heard our governor in my state of Wisconsin say, hey, you're all going to be shut down for the month of April. And I realized I have to do something not only for myself, but for other people to make sure that we are better off at the end of this shutdown than we are as we're going into it because there still was so much uncertainty going into it. Guess what? There's still so much uncertainty. Uh, I believe uh, my granddaughter will be with me for the for the, the duration probably of this year. For Through May for sure, no more school this year. Her school's been canceled. Um, the governor again now in Wisconsin has shut everything down until May 23rd. So all the schools and everything through May 23rd. So now we've added another month to this. So I guarantee you're gonna see me doing something in May as well. Uh, I've got uh, a, an event on the first and second of May, but probably after that, I will be launching something else to help people to continue to grow and develop and move through this uncertain time with certainty and being proactive and creating and carving out the life that that each of us want, that you want, that I want, that each of us want. And in any way that I can help do that, I am here to help people do that. Uh, so the Get Up and Go Challenge will go through the 30th, probably the first, because I always have at least one bonus day. And then we'll roll into something else. We'll do something else because it's going to be another whole month for sure. And probably a month after that and a month after that. So I don't know if it'll be a summit. I just am getting off of a challenge, this, this Rise Up Challenge, it's really not a challenge, it's a summit. It's a challenge, but it's a summit as well, so it's a summit that they're calling a challenge because he's had, I think, probably 60 speakers uh, that he's interviewing, and that, that's a summit. And, and you can define things and call things whatever you want, but to me, that's a summit, not a challenge. And I've done both. I did a women's summit last year. Maybe it'll be a women's summit. I have not 100% decided. You know, share in the comments below what you would like to see, what would help you personally to move through this and to make sure you're setting yourself up for success no matter what happens no matter what time no matter what's going on in the world uh, I think I'd like to do that it would be really it would be fun and amazing to bring in some special guests and to do some interviews I think that that would be fun so maybe I'll go more summit than challenge or maybe a mix of, but uh, we'll figure it out I'll figure it out I've got you know a week of this month left I've got a week to figure it out what I want to do next for this but I want to make sure that I'm always showing up and helping in any way that I can uh, so get up and go day 24 today we talked about pain <clears throat> one of my favorite topics believe it or not uh, because I've had a lot of experience with, with actual physical pain emotional pain spiritual pain you name it a lot of us have and, and I'm you know old enough that I've experienced a lot of that as well so pain is one of my favorite topics talked about pain talked about triggers triggers are and patterns are another one of my favorite topics because triggers work on all of us patterns we're running patterns all the time whether we know it or not and until we question those patterns just like we question our habits and we question our beliefs and we question some of the things that we do automatically we'll continue to get the same results that we've always gotten and if we want to change our results if we want to get something different we have to be willing to say okay well how, how have I been approaching this type of a situation is it serving me or is it not? If it's not serving me, what can I replace it with that will serve me? How can I consciously decide the kind of patterns and the kind of triggers I want? Because we can set up our own. So we talked about that today in the Get Up and Go Challenge and how we can do that. Uh, today's idiom was turn up your nose at someone or turn up your nose at something to think that you're better and superior to other people for whatever reason. Some people think because they have more money, they're better than other people. Some people think because they have more education, they're better than other people. Some people think because they live in a certain neighborhood or have a certain amount of friends or know certain people or have done something in their life, they've written a book or they've created a course or they've um, climbed Mount Everest, whatever, they think that they're better than other people. And so I had a little bit of a, a, a going off on uh, my thoughts and feelings about that. 
fun challenge today was I think I can, I think I can, from of course one of my favorite childhood books, The Little Engine That Could, I think I can, I think I can. So I love that. That's such a fun book. And it's so true, and it's more true today than ever. It's always been 100% true. But today, more than ever, we have to believe and know that we can do what we want and we can do and move our lives forward no matter what's going on around us, right? It's always 100% up to us and what's going on inside of us to determine what we're going to think, how we're going to feel, what we're going to do to move us toward what we want. And it doesn't matter if there's a pandemic or not. Guess what? A pandemic, this pandemic just means that we're all going through this experience of change at the same time. Every Buddy, at any given time can be going through some kind of a drama or trauma or change or crisis yet very seldom are we all going through it at the same time and that's what's happening right now all of us are being impacted by COVID-19 whether, we, whether we, we agree or not we all are being impacted some to a greater or lesser extent right I feel like my life up until this has all been preparation for me to handle and deal with and work my way through this in a positive way because I've had so many bad things happen. I've had so many crises, so many traumas, so many um, events and challenges that I've had to overcome. And then the last couple of years even have actually prepared me for this. As my vision has gone downhill, I've had to change. I've had to isolate. I've had to stop driving. I've had to stop interacting and doing things physically with people. And so it's it was all kind of I look at it now it's like it was all kind of preparation for you're gonna to have to figure this stuff out on your own for right now and I, I'd been figuring those things out I've been having people take me places having people get me groceries having people do things for me so uh, for me personally it's like I've been spending years preparing for something like this not that I ever thought anything like this would happen but so that I was prepared I was ready and I wasn't panicked or freaking out about it and that allows me to look at it from a different perspective and then share that perspective with other people so that they can approach it in a more proactive way as well. No matter what your preparedness or situation, I was caught with my pants down in a couple areas. I just moved. So as far as reserves and a full pantry and stocked up on a lot of stuff, I, I was like a lot of people. I wasn't. And guess what? I just figured it out. I figured I'm not going to die. There's peanut butter in the cupboard. I can always eat peanut butter for a couple of days. I've got, I fortunately, i my first job out of college was working for Procter & Gamble at making toilet paper. So I've always had plenty of toilet paper in my house. So that wasn't an issue for me personally, but it was for a lot of people. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what and what and how we were before. What matters is how we are now each and every day to be present and then what we're choosing to become and how we're going to move forward through this because it's a huge opportunity for each and every one of us to do that. I'm doing a ton of stuff um, to, to study and grow and personally develop and be a better servant to the people that I serve right now because I can. And there's so much available. There's so many incredible resources available right now for us. And we have technology and the ability to still do that. We still can interact. We're still doing family birthday parties and family events through Zoom, which is really, really fun. And wine parties through Zoom. We're doing those things. We're connecting with the people that we need to connect to using the technology that is at and available to most of us these days. So that's what I'm working on. That's what I've got today. Uh, another couple of days. Jeez, I'm doing three challenges right now. I'm doing a book a day challenge. Uh, what am I going to read today? I think I'm going to read one of the Vortex books today, one of the Esther and Jerry Hicks books today, just to give me um, some more energy and a little positive zing in um, my spiritual and social and universal laws uh, perspective. I'm also doing a um, some click funnels, guys. I'm, I'm a big click funnels person. Are doing a challenge and about how to launch your expertise. And I've done a lot in that area with respect to launching your expertise. And they're a lot more successful than I am at, at that kind of thing. So I'm watching and participating in their challenge. And it's an every other day challenge, which has turned out to be perfect for me because it just helps to spread it out. And, and sometimes it, it helps so that I don't have so many commitments every single day. Um, the days that it falls on the other two, and really four challenges, because I'm doing mine too, it's a lot, but you know what? I figure out a way to get it done and still serve my amazing little four-year-old granddaughter because basically she is my number one priority right now. Um, making sure that she has a great experience throughout this whole 
time period and that she is taken care of and she is, is so wise I can't believe how smart toddlers are right because she's not a toddler she's almost a schoolgirl. Uh, and their perspective on things is so amazing and the questions they ask cause us to think and respond in a way that is positive and proactive and in the direction that we want to go so I am really loving and appreciating that I have her throughout this crisis and throughout this challenge if I can help you in any way if you're struggling or you don't know what to do next if you are you're swamped because you don't know what to do next your business is exploding and you need help with that um, business changes what to do next transitions transitioning from the brick and mortar world to the online world all of those are my area of expertise and specialty and if you have any questions about that please just ask don't struggle in anything any longer than you have to there's no reason to struggle when there's so many resources available and right now more than ever there are so many resources available to people because uh, I heard somebody saying I don't know if this is accurate or not two-thirds of the population is at home right now a third of the what does that tell you about our economy and what it takes to really run certain things but if two-thirds of the population is home right now there are a lot of untapped resources that we can get creative and we can tap into if we're resourceful to figure out anything that we want to figure out sit have an absolutely amazing day I will be with you tomorrow with another you know update on what I'm doing as I transition from the brick-and-mortar world to the online world of business and duplicate the success I had offline online as I knocked my ducks in a row off Again, if I can help you anyway, just ask and I will be with you tomorrow. Bye.